In this video, we are going to look at the steps to be followed to install Ansible on Red Hat 8. So if you go, uh, go to the Ansible documentation site, it has provided a detailed steps on based on which platform are you planning to use, whether uh, Red Hat, Ubuntu, or Mac OS, uh, different flavors of Linux that you are uh, using. So you can follow all of these steps based on which platform are you going to use. And there are different ways, uh, different manners in which we can install Ansible on top of Linux. We can use uh, DNF, uh, we can use YUM, we can use uh, uh, PIP as well. So let's get started right away. I'll jump into the console of my Red Hat. To start with, first let's check if Ansible is pre-installed available on my Red Hat. So I'm, I'm going to use RPM query for Ansible. Okay, this package is not installed. So in my case, I'm going to use Python to install Ansible. In Python, we have uh, pip as our Python manager. So let us have a look Python, which version we have. So it is 3.6.8, which is pre-installed on, on our Red Hat 8. So let's use pip3 install Ansible. This is going to install and download the Ansible package and install it on Red Hat 8. You can also install it um, uh, based on per specific user. So in a while, you'll observe that uh, the Ansible package is downloaded and has been installed successfully. Let's just wait for a while. So after a while, you'll observe that um, it has collected the Ansible package and now we're running the script to install Ansible. This will get completed in another few seconds. And after a while, we'll observe that Ansible is successfully installed. So in here now, if I want to check the Ansible version, I'll just type Ansible minus minus version. It will show that Ansible 2.9.11 is installed successfully. With this, we have completed the installation of Ansible. The next module will start writing the code for Ansible. 